guys, welcome back. Tech that YT here. Today, this is a $50 Galaxy Note Edge. Now, you may be wondering, how do I get such a good deal? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it works perfectly fine. And, oh my, wait, is that Tech... Oh, there's Tech that YT. I guess another shout-out. Oh my gosh. Three emojis in a row! He's gonna be the new, um... I'll bet you any money he's gonna be the new character in the Emoji Movie 2. Um, he's gonna be one of the main stars. Let me just, um... Okay, so I just rechanged the angle, and um, this is what came in the package. They gave me a brand new charging um, charging cable and charging brick. So this this is actually perfect for me because I have a lot of phones and a lot of them are dying. <laughs> but yeah, there's Tech That YT again. Let me just turn down the brightness. This thing has a 1440p AMOLED display. Um, one of the first, um, Samsungs to have a 2K display. This is half of 4K resolution. I've pretty much updated everything, but I haven't downloaded any apps yet. It has a replacement battery, let me show you. It would just sh sometimes shut off. But, um, it doesn't look like it's doing that anymore, but I bought a new one anyways. An OEM one. Power bear go beyond your power. And the, the only problem with this thing is that it won't connect to carrier networks. It's on T-Mobile, so it would have been perfect if it did work. And because I'm on T-Mobile, but it doesn't. But I don't really care <laughs> since it is an amazing phone for the price. And I've, of course, I've got the Edge Display Panel. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Um, hmm. Go. It is now on a slightly elevated platform. Yeah, but the thing works perfectly fine. I'm very excited about it. But it doesn't seem like it has a dual band Wi-Fi chip, so it can only t sense my uh, 3G or not 3G, but um, 2 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I don't see my other one. My other one says, oh, phones. Oh, okay, so it does have it. I was wondering, because even the S4, I think even down all the way down to the S3, they had dual-band Wi-Fi chips. These things were beasts. But, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about this. There is another one, but I told you guys about it a while ago, but on my eBay deals videos, but, um, well, video, but, uh, somebody bought it out. I don't know if it was one of you guys or someone else, but somebody bought it and there is another one, but it isn't like this. It has lines on the screen, and for some reason it's going for more money. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. It is on the most recent version that this phone can support, which is Android 6.0.1. Let me just go show you about device. Android 6.0.1. You can see it's Marshmallow. And, oh, another fun thing, fun fact, is my Moto Z2 Force, I just updated it to Android 8.0 Nougat. It is now running... Nougat, and that's pretty cool. There we go, now I fixed it, but yeah. The touch screen, and as you can tell, everything on this thing works fine. There are no lines in the display. I don't know why, but you can't... There's the Samsung logo. For some reason, you guys couldn't see that. But yeah, this is a very big phone. And, um, due to the, cur the edge display, the power button has to be on the top. Uh, something to get used to, but I don't really care. <laughs> um, because I get a phone like this, and of course it has the S Pen. doesn't... Oh, it does, okay. Turns on, but... Wait, did it just buy? Oh no, I don't have a lock. <laughs> I was gonna be like, did it just bypass it? But my lock screen, but I don't have a lock screen. So as you can tell, it works fine. It has pressure sensitivity, so if I just go lightly and then start pressing down, it'll go harder. Uh, heh, harder. Okay, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me just put this back in. Peace.